Ted Parks. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Western Orthopedics. And today we're gonna to talk about ACL reconstruction. The anterior cruciate ligament is a ligament about the diameter of your pinky finger that's an inch or two long. It goes like a bridge between the two bones, the two major bones in your knee, the femur, which is the bone from your above the knee from your thigh, and the tibia, which is the bone that goes down to your ankle. And like all ligaments, it's a connector. It connects those two bones so that they can move flexibly through the joint, but it also keeps them from moving abnormally or shifting under load. Typically, anterior cruciate ligament injuries occur from some kind of a violent injury to the knee. A twisting injury or a hyperextension injury are common. Any injury that loads the anterior cruciate ligament and tensions it to the point of failure can do this. Uh, usually we see these in sports, uh, typically sports like soccer, basketball, and skiing. Initially, after an anterior cruciate ligament rupture, most patients complain of pain. It's a big ligament and it uh, takes a lot of force to rupture it. After it's been torn, uh, people are fairly uncomfortable. It's not uncommon for people to have to walk on crutches uh, and not be able to put weight on their leg in the first week. After that, and when the pain uh, subsides, people then begin to complain of instability. Once they're able to walk, they may note that the knee shifts abnormally or feels unstable when they try to put weight on it. And these giving way episodes can be unpredictable uh, and most often occur in sports or vigorous activities. Typically, we can make the diagnosis in the office. The anterior cruciate ligament's job is to keep the knee bones close to each other. And by pulling on the knee gently, we can detect whether the anterior cruciate ligament is there doing that job or not. Sometimes if patients are too uncomfortable for that exam, we can get an MRI. And an MRI is certainly a good uh, imaging uh, study for detecting ACL tears. Once the ACL is torn, your options are to live with an ACL deficient knee, which is non-operative treatment, or have it fixed. And usually with physical therapy, we can make your knee strong enough using strengthening exercises to build up the muscle to make an ACL deficient knee stable. Uh, stable enough anyway for daily activities, going to work if you have a sedentary job, and household chores. If you want to be more ambitious and return to sports, uh, or if your job requires a lot of strain on your knee, we recommend that the ACL be fixed or reconstructed. And that's the surgical procedure we do. If you want to learn more about ACL reconstruction, please visit our website at western-ortho.com.